What up? It's Jason here. Uh, I haven't made a video in a long time. I love you guys. I got a lot on my heart. I got a lot on my mind. I'm feeling alive. And I want to make a video quickly about self-loathing. It's crazy. Because we have to hate part of ourselves. We have to. And we have to love ourselves. So how do we go about it? What I mean... It's been written about for a long time. It may sound a little schizophrenic, but the ancients who walked with God hand in hand well understood the battle between the flesh and the spirit. Which we have... Uh, we have both. We're fleshly and we're spiritual beings. We're made in the image of God. And we're corrupted into the image of men. And uh, ultimately we become adopted children of Satan growing up in this world. And our flesh is alive and well. So what's the root? What is the root? Well, God has said that if we were to see ourselves the way he sees us, we would no more stumble in our walk. What? What? That's wild. No more stumble in our walks? Just if we're able to see ourselves the way he sees us, that's amazing. So, let's get real there. I'm feeling just so real lately. There's no other way to be. Just over the last month. Look, you've seen maybe some of my videos in the past. I'm against the pharisaical religious establishment because my God is against it. But guess what? God's going to be against me if I become a religious pharisaical turd. And I've done it. I've done it. Guilty. i got to repent. I'm repenting now. I'm sick of the flesh. Stupid. Flesh. Uh, just want to bite it off and chew it and just spit it out and burn it. You ever get like that? Yeah. So is that really self-loathing? Hmm. Am I the flesh? Or am I much more, but right now the ego, the flesh, the self-god, whatever you want to call it, is warring within me, trying to keep me from my true self, which is me restored in the image of God? Whatever. Whatever you want to call me as. A multifaceted me. And, uh, I don't like it. I want to be the Jesus form of me. The form I was originally created in. And I gotta know how the Lord sees me. Lord, give us eyes to see ourselves as you see us. The good, the bad, the ugly. You know, it's awesome. Is when we get real with God... And we look ourselves in the mirror. We got to see ourselves twofold. He says things like, when you look upon, butcher it, when you look upon another, seek to see them with uh, my eyes, the way that I see them. And he said, we should see himself looking back at us. That's amazing. So does that not go for myself? When I look myself in the mirror... I should see that there, right? Well, here's a little wrench in it. No contradictions found. He says to look upon the enemy in the mirror. Behold the enemy in the mirror only second to Satan. How do I do that? How do I do both? There's no contradiction there. It's a question worth having. You know, people may say, Aha! Aha! Contradictions! False! No. The Almighty God doesn't contradict himself. It's us and our interpretations and private interpretations. I really screw up amazing revelation. I believe that when there's apparent contradictions with God, 
That means there's some real, real meat that he wants to search us, us to search out with him so that we can get to the bottom of some really deep things. And that's amazing. But we got to humble ourselves to do that. I mean, he tells us to humble ourselves. That's a command. That's not an option. He wouldn't tell us to do something that we're not able to do. I am more than a conqueror in Christ. Christ who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. He has not limited us. This is a tag team partnership duet friggin' ballerina ballerina dance off epic journey that we're gonna join him in and we have to and he is that doctor he needs us butt naked before him search the body give us that physical exam run some scans on us cat scans MRI I mean he's gotta go everywhere with me He's got to go everywhere. I mean, I may as I'm gonna be in the hospital a long time just for the diagnosis phase. He's gonna pull out the reports. Well, my son, we got this going on. This is here. This is here. This is stage four. Not good. You're in bad shape. We don't have much time. Nurses. Bad. 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 Man. And the flesh wants somebody to join them in this self-exploration and examination. Somebody to say, uh, I'm just as bad as you probably were. But the spirit doesn't need that. Yahushua didn't need that. But I don't know. I don't know if he had flesh. I don't. He didn't have sin. We know this. But he was tempted in all ways that we were yet without sin. I mean, he he heard from demons. The devil tempted him. So he had to have some, some ways to, you know, really stand up, choose righteousness. Because he was and is the son of man. He had to choose his father, and he did it perfectly. That's why he's the perfect example. He's not ignorant to what we go through. He's not ignorant to the temptations uh, he just never chose to embrace them and act on on his the temptations that he was receiving. That's so awesome. He can sympathize with us. That's what scripture says. The Apostle Paul, it may be a little more easy for us to understand because that was a fallen man. I mean, big time falls. I mean, David. I mean, David had walked with the Lord Solomon? Really? Do we have to go there? Solomon? Brother went, Ham, what about Moshi? Moses. He killed a dude. But you know what it says about Moses? He became the most humble man in all the earth. For me, I mean I don't know, I watched the Prince of Egypt, you see him like riding around in his chariots with Ramses, and he's just turning out. You know, he's not humble at all. He's an arrogant guy, given it's a movie, but you don't know, he's raised up as the prince of Egypt. I guess what I'm saying is that with the amount of arrogance and pride I possess within myself, the amount of, of the flesh that I've allowed to reign over my being for years, it can be hard to have hope, but good thing I'm going to the five-star... Medical board recommended best friggin' heart surgeon in the entire universe. Right? I trust him. Do I? Do I? It's easy to say I trust him, but let's get real, Jay. Let's get real. <clears throat> Do you really trust him? Well, guess what? I got a little bit of trust. I'm going to grab onto it, and I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump with him. Take that leap. Search my heart, O oh God, that you might see all the impurities. Bring it before my face. You say, search your own hearts. That's what you say. I don't want to search it without your, your vision guiding me. So just, I, I want a tag team. I'm not smart enough, wise enough, healthy enough, stable enough. Uh, I, 
I can't go at it alone. I'll end up bruised, hurt, depressed. But if you're here with me, your spirit's comforting me. I can spelunker into this cavern that's miles, miles deep, filled with bats and creeping things and all manners of disease. And I know you're right here with me. So I thank you for that, Yoshu. Alright, I'm out. I may start just doing YouTube video rants. Maybe God can do something with it. I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just give it real talk about about myself, my situation, what I'm going through. In my inward search to to be restored to God's image and how he's blessing me in this process. So it might end up with me committed. Probably people going to see it and say, that's a certified net case right there. He's a harm to himself and to the status quo of this world and other lives. We must have him arrested. Or that could just be my ego desiring to do something world-shaking and puffing myself up to believe that I can with my true talks. And, uh, I don't know. So funny. So cool. It is so cool that in our dirtiest, filthiest state, we can feel the hand of the Almighty God closer than ever before. But guess what? It ain't the whole that need the physician. It ain't the healthy that need to go to the doc. The sick. I'm so sick, infected with where I live. Let me live without this empty bliss, selfishness. I'm so sick. I'm not the only one in this boat. Check out I'm So Sick by Flyleaf. Girl goes in. She's an amazing artist. I'm done. Have a blessed Sabbath, guys. Later.